Now to the morning business report. Oil and gas mergers have slowed down. So what's the holdup? Channel 3's Jane King joins us live at the NASDAQ with that answer. Good morning, Jane. Happy Friday. Hi, Wendell Nicole. Happy Friday to you, too. That's right. So these mergers have been slowing down, and this is intentional on the part of the Biden administration. Uh, they're thinking maybe if they slow those down, that might help relieve high oil and gas prices. Uh, but consumers still complaining about the high gas prices and that have even gotten higher in recent days. Well, existing home sales rise 7 percent. That was the most in a year. This is for last month. The National Association of Realtors says there was an unexpected increase in the supply of homes. Now, the median selling price of an existing house rose 13 percent last uh, month from a year ago, and the average median price now 352000 nationwide. Well, the house made famous by a nightmare on Elm Street can now be yours for three and a quarter million dollars. The house is in Los Angeles. It's a Dutch colonial with three bedrooms and four bathrooms, and offers for the home are due on Halloween. Well, the S&P 500 inched higher to a record close yesterday. So investors really focused on these strong corporate earnings that we're getting and not so much on inflation and supply chain issues, at least for the moment. Looks like we'll open slightly higher today, up about 20 points in the Dow. Live from the NASDAQ market side, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Jane.